what do you think about including mobile app development to my web development services, but later in the future? Many clients want mobile apps. Now, I would say be an ethical uh, developer. And what do I mean by that? My question would be, are you good at developing uh, mobile app, mobile apps? Because something um, I often talk about, and I actually um, briefly talked about it when I said, don't pretend to be someone you're not, is don't try to be everything to everyone. That's the best way to be average. But that being said, if you're good at creating websites and good at mobile um, designing mobile apps, then by all means, do it. Do it because many clients want mobile apps. Now, I would say be an ethical uh, developer. And what do I mean by that? Not that long ago, I could have sold a mobile app um, to a customer. Not me because I don't develop mobile apps, but I'm straightforward with my customers. When they come and they say they want to work with me, I also have people in my network that can create the mobile apps. And what I would tell that potential client is, listen, I don't develop mobile apps, but I can be the link between you and the developer that's going to build the mobile apps. I can be the project manager because that's something that I think I'm good at and something I enjoy. And also you need to factor in the fact that some customers, they just want to trust one person and they don't want to go and have meetings with one developer for this, one designer for that. And it's actually a service. And if anybody is listening here, if you're good at project management, this is a business you could do even if you don't know anything about code, designing, anything. Project managers are so, so important, especially when the, the projects become bigger. But this is something I generally enjoy doing. So I could have sold that app. But honestly, when the client told me what they wanted, I knew all they needed was a website because the mobile app was going to cost five times as much. I could have made some money off of it, but I didn't feel right. You know what? Because at one point that customer was going to notice that you know, they spend five times more money on a mobile app and they get three downloads from the app store. It's not going to work. But as long as you're upfront and you tell the client, listen, in this case, I would go with a uh, website. If they still want to go with a mobile app, okay, you've told them you've been honest and then there's no problem. Now, if you're a, a, a good mobile app developer, then by all means do it. We all need apps, but we need good apps. We need good apps. Uh, I don't know how many apps you have on your phone. I have a lot. I only use three or four maybe. So I think apps are great. Just look at the, um, the app store and the success it has and, and the play store. But unless you're really good at both, I would try to stick to what I'm really good at. I feel like I'm good at web design, branding uh, and front end development to some extent because I'm not the best one in JavaScript. So. I'm really upfront with, with my clients and when they need more resources, I will make the link. And I think they really appreciate that. They can trust one person and then it takes a burden off my chest because when I, I was getting started, I would say yes to everyone. Just like the example I gave, if it's your first date ever, you're so happy to you meet someone, you're going to try to look like you can do anything, you can be anything. But then, you know, when you wake up, and you've promised that you could build an app with a website, uh, do the, the business cards, the logo, everything, and you don't know how to do half of it, then you're going to start feeling the stress and stress is not good. And now if you, because I'm assuming a lot of things once again here, but if you're not good at mobile app development and you're better at um, website development, then you can partner with someone else. You can partner with someone else. Now, in terms of partnering legally, I would be really cautious there. But what you could do is you could have one structure and you work with other freelancers that you have a trust a relationship with. Try to build a team, like a sports team. I think that's one of the best models one can create now. Traditional agencies, I don't know. I'm not too uh, fond of it. But I think really being the go-to person and knowing how to manage teams, this is really the future. Great question, Ben. Dot says facts. And Ben says, thank you very much for the advice. Well, thank you very much for asking the question because I think it's going to help other people.